So if you want to learn how other people construct and deconstruct gender, you need to learn it from someone who doesn't look like me. Everything I say about gender is influenced by my whiteness, which is obvious, but there's an interesting second part to this. The rejections of gender and gender roles that I create and embody will still come from my whiteness, those acceptable to my constructions of self as a white person. I will likely uphold and encourage white beauty standards and see and more immediately accept other white rejections of gender. Essentially, even the most critical analysis of gender I have will still be white, and white gender rejection can and does uphold whiteness and white supremacy. Queer appropriation of American vernacular English is one example of this, as is mainstream exclusion of fashion excellence in black representations of masculinity, while celebrating white men for having basic hygiene as if they're revolutionaries. Of course, that's not to say we can't attempt to take in other viewpoints, but it's still going to be a fundamentally white perspective. Even this is a white perspective, it's literally the only one I can give you. So if you want to learn how other people construct and deconstruct gender, you need to learn it from someone who doesn't look like me. What the hell are you talking about? What are you talking about?